ladies and lollies. Today is Friday. All right, so I'm going to show you the activities that we are going to do today. We are going to do some fine motor activities. Okay, so first things first, we're going to practice our cutting skills. Okay, now I want you to go get a toilet roll. And what I've done is I've added some eyes to our toilet roll and a little star sticker for the mouth. Okay, so this little man is very shy because he thinks he's ugly. So I spoke to him and he said he would like a hat. So we are going to make him a hat. All right, if you want, you can color your little man in, okay? I'm going to show you how we're going to give him a hat so that he can be happy again. All right, so you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut your toilet roll. Okay, we, remember we're practicing our cutting skills. Okay, so we're going to cut just little lines all around his head so that we can make him a hat. Okay, like this. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so we're just cutting like this. All right, and we're going to do that all the way around. And this is why we're practicing, because it doesn't need to be perfect, it doesn't need to be straight, it can be skew, it can be however you want it, because we are practicing, okay? Because it's important to practice cutting hay so that we can cut on the lines and we can cut things out as we get bigger all right okay there we go we've cut our little man a hat how cute is that hey and we can move the pieces back a bit so that we can give him a wider hat if you guys don't want to cut toilet papers, maybe it is a little bit difficult, especially for the little ones, okay? Um, it is cardboard, so it is a little bit harder. You guys can just practice cutting old newspapers or magazines, and the paper is a lot thinner, so it will be easier. And you can still make a little man a hat like this. It's cute now, hey? And he is now smiling. Look. See, I don't know if you can see him, but he is now smiling because he has a hat and he's no longer shy. All right, boys and girls, for the second activity, I have got some colored water here, okay? It's just some water with some food coloring. What color is this? Pink. What color is this? green okay and I've also got an ice tray now when you do this activity you might want to do it in the kitchen so that you don't make a mess all right and I've got some measuring spoons here so we're just going to have some fun all right okay so I want you to take some water all right from the one jug okay so we're going to take some from the pink one first and we're going to fill up this ice tray okay so you can pour it in, okay. And we're trying not to spill, okay. Ooh, I'm spilling, you see now. Okay. And we can take some green. <gasps> Look at that, so cool. And you can even put these in the freezer afterwards and then you're going to have some really cool colored ice in your juice, hey? And let's take some red again and green. We can even see what happens if we mix green and red together. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. I'll do another one so that you guys can see.
All right, boys and girls, and that's it. We have really cool colored water in our ice trays, and I know you guys did so well. Okay, and like I said, you can put it in the freezer, and then you're going to have some really cool ice. Okay. All right, boys and girls, so I won't see you as much next week because it is the holiday time. All right, so I will see you again on Monday, and I will still give you guys some activities to do, but I'm not going to do a video every day, so you won't see me all the time, but I still would love to see your faces. I would love to see pictures of what you guys are doing during the holidays, and you guys must enjoy it. Okay, you guys must have a nice rest. You don't need to do any more schoolwork. Okay, you guys can just do some of the activities for fun. And I will see you guys again soon. I love you so much. And I will see you again soon. Bye.